It's me, Mikey Pipes. And I hope you're hungry, because this is going to be a good video. On this service call, an existing client, we serviced their boiler, we serviced one of the zones of the air conditioning systems here. Uh, well, we're back. And even though it's the 11th of October, yesterday, she sent me a text saying, Mike, you got to help me. What is coming from my second floor ceiling? I think it's coming from the air conditioning system. I'm like, do me a favor, turn it off, the thermostat. I don't know which one it is. I have seven in my house. I'm like, oh, process of elimination. But guess what? It's 64 degrees outside. Open the windows, turn them all off. I'll be there in the morning. She goes, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I was like, you got it. So let's go and let's see how effed this job was. And remember, if you want stickers, versions one, versions two, and versions three are available. Details in the description box down below. Also got hats and shirts available. All right, let's go see what's going on. Which didn't turn it off. I'm gonna have to get the shop vac and soak out this water. All right. Sucked out most of the water out of the emergency pan. I'm gonna replace that. She didn't cut the switch, she didn't cut the cooling circuit off. I don't know why that's like that. I'm gonna, I sucked out some water there, but I'm gonna cut a union right there and blow out the drain. See, they size down to a half inch ABS. So a little tip. Anytime I see brand new filters, I always suspect, suspect, possibly a frozen system, which led to that amount of water. So that leads me to the outdoor units. So let me show you what I found. I have all of my thermostats off, except for the unit in question. And I'm at this four ton. I know it's four ton because of that 48. It's 48,000 BTUs. And she's discharging hot air out of there. So, and my line is not freezing up. But then I found this disaster. Which looks like it goes to that Senville mini split condenser next to this trampoline. I don't even know if I want to touch this stuff, but. <laughs> yep. I don't know how they, some of these hacks expect this stuff to work. Got a breaker resting on the floor there. There's my some low voltage wiring. Look at that. See that, guys? Low voltage wiring, just chilling. Just chilling out there like that. What a hack job. Hack central. Oh man. I don't know what 
what's up with that. Maybe they... I don't know. I don't want to touch this because then I'm going to own it. Oh, God. Great job with the line sets here. Pioneer, and that's for a uh, irrigation. That's a well pump. Let's see if we can find the dirty filters. Since today is Columbus Day, we have no garbage pickup. Let's see if we can find the filters. Because the filters that are in place right there are brand new. Let's see if we can find that garbage. Wow, automatic gates too, look at that. Nice. Looks like a house within a house. What the hell's going on here? I got a house within a house. Oh man, I'm, they might have picked up garbage today. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool though. All right. Didn't find the filters, but I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Let's go back inside. All right. Let me show you what I did on the condensate. And then we're going to take a look at the float switch failure and replacement. All right. When I cut that three quarter PVC, it's very, very brittle. Very brittle. Actually, I put a piece right here. There's a vent. All right. I don't know if you see that crack right there, but she cracked. So I threw in a coupling. There's my union. I'm gonna put this back in there. All right. So now I'm gonna work with this. All right. I don't even know how I'm getting in here, but ow. I can't even get this cover off because of threaded rod right there, but whatever. I'm gonna bend it back and it is what it is. Here's my wire coming from that flow switch and only purple <laughs> only purple is wired in <laughs> to this white wire see that look at that red is not going anywhere black white just purple and that's going to the white wire and the blue i don't know what the hell i don't even know how they expected this to work but I gotta figure this out and break C. Oh, gray is wired to white. And this is, yeah, so I just gotta break this with the regular float switch. And I don't know why this is not wired into the equation, but I'm not wiring it into the equation. I'm just gonna give him a regular condensate cup, which I have right, right there. All right, let me show you what I did. It is a very, very, very tight spot. All right. Oh, God. Here's my condensate cup. All right. It didn't want to fit on the pan. So I used super glue. That's right. I used super glue. And I glued on the new condensate cup right there. And now whenever the water level gets that high again, right, it's going to trigger closing, I mean breaking, cooling circuit. As you guys know, I love my Wagos. These are the Wago Lever 221 two conductor wire connectors. They're beautiful. I love them. A lot of you people didn't know about them until I showed you them. And it's all about knowledge is power. Learn something new every day. So if you look in here, one wire is breaking thermostat Y and the other wire is breaking condenser why so as long as the water level doesn't rise up there again and hopefully this dried which it did it's nice that's right there all right water level as you know over, over took over this lip right there so if this water ever comes back it's going to turn off why very easy killing power to the condenser if you're wondering why i'm struggling to breathe that's because i'm surrounded by all this duct work Oh my God, it's like a pillow. 
Maybe I'll just take a nap. Hmm. All right, no problem. Uh. I should probably take a look and see if the coil is close. Right. Let me just see. I don't think it is. I ain't seeing shit in there. Definitely not seeing anything. Yeah, let me get the screws back in this bad boy. Turn her on. Make sure she works. And it's not hackery, by the way. It works. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? It's super glue. It's never, ever, ever going to come off. I did not want to play with that. You touch it, you own it. What am I gonna say? Hey, you had an emergency float switch wired, but not really wired. Sorry, new float switch, condensate cop. Just breaks Y, very easy. All right, let me get some screws and screw this bad boy back together. Well, she's not Gigi, the mini golden doodle, but that is a bunny rabbit. Hello, bunny rabbit. Hi, you want a job? Cute little bunny rabbit. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up. St. Mike commands Z to smash that thumbs up button and do it now. And if you're a troll, hit that thumbs down button. Why? Because I don't care. Because I really don't care. Because we're almost at 25,000 subscribers. And when we're, we're halfway there, and when we hit 50,000 subscribers, well, guess what? You won't be at the pool party. The ones that thumbs up and the subscribers, they will be. Mark my words. It's going to be epic. It is going to be the best pool party ever, ever, ever on YouTube. Hosted by one and only me, Mikey Pipes. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.